All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Double Cross. It's a kind of Mega Man-esque platformer uh, made by the people that made Runbo. And I didn't have a whole lot of compunction to play Runbo just because platforming party games are kind of tough on my hands. But Double Cross looks absolutely charming, and I wanted to give it a go. And it's not too long, too, which is nice. So let's quick take a look at some of these things. I'm going to turn the sound effects down. Fun. Very fun. Ah, uh, no items. Speedrun fairy type. Reverse kawaii. Swappers only. Pineapple eldritch. Wait, wait, what? Sour broughten. Epic. Very fun. What's fun? I don't know. I don't know what this setting are, is. Wait, are these... I don't know. Are these, like, easy mode or or difficulty settings? What What is that? I don't know. Okay, go back. I'm gonna just... What's... I'm, okay, so it's very fun. Ah! Wait. Speed run? No. Fairy, fairy type. type. What? Maybe it changes Reverse? the colors. Kawaii? Cutesy. Swappers only? Pineapple? Eldritch? Ooh. Sour Broughton? What is Epic? Sour Broughton? I don't know. Is it like... Because I, I know of Sour Kraut, but Sour Broughton must be... What did you... And on. Uh, I'm just fun. leaving it on very fun. I think we'll mess around with this as we go through the game. I wonder if it just changes up a character model or something. I, I don't know. Okay, so there's also accommodations. Finish your training. So these are just little achievos. Art gallery and music player and some other stuff. Okay, well, let's get going. I just had, I always have to take a look at the options first. And, oh. There are countless Earths spread between countless alternate realities. Diverse and fascinating worlds, just like our own, where... One ah, small we didn't start. change can do something. One small change can change everything. However, interdimensional travel can lead to crime, contamination, and horrible consequences. One organization is responsible for the care and protection of every reality. Rift, regulators of interdimensional frontiers and technology. From their... Headquarters, they can travel anywhere and do cop stuff. This is a little fast. Pause the video if you actually know, want to know what it said. But we're, we're, we're Dimension Cops. And it's Thursday, 13 a.m. Wait. Well, it probably Wait. mean... 13 o'clock a.m. That's... That's not an actual time. Unless you go by the 24-hour time. Yeah, but... Wait, oh, but, but you'd it never have it at a.m. That would be 1 a.m. No, what? you're right. What? Uh, All right. So her name is Zara? Is that how you pronounce it? Probably. Zara Sinclair, agent. This is yourself, Mr. X. What? How are you so Okay, thanks. This is a bit overwhelming, Agent Zara. Don't worry. I'll make it clear to my in my report that it was just accidental interdimensional travel. Everything will be cleared up in a few hours, okay? Thanks. I know it's too late, but I'm sorry for all the trouble. And there was this strange light, and suddenly I was somewhere else, and I was so confused. All those people without tentacles, they looked so tasty. Uh, these things happen sometimes. There are Earths where food looks like people, and people look like food. That's why Rift exists. Luckily, there were no casualties, but it's why we closely regulate interdimensional travel here. It's gotta be so cool to be a Rift agent and visit all those worlds. Where are we now? The Rift Headquarters. This is where we open portals to other Earths and monitor them for portal activation signatures. Wow, it sounds awesome. Sorry to keep you busy, Agent Zara. I'm a bit nervous, but I'll stay here and not cause any trouble. <laughs> so he's in a containment cell. <laughs> he is kind of big. He's massive. He is very big. That plays him. Wait, so let's have a good look at him. Can you... So he has a bunch of tentacle legs, some fronds for ears, sort of like a webbing, and then tentacle? I, they look like additional ears, but they're definitely just grabbers on his back and there's multiple eyes on them. Those are cool eyes. Yeah. I like how the, the primary ones have what seems to be multiple pupils. And look at that smile, isn't it charming? I'm still a little nervous. All right. Nope, not going to her. She looks spooky. Well, and this, there's nothing else here. This is the All right, end well, of the that's easy enough. Block. Oh, that's weird. The camera 
Oh, the camera's supposed to focus on each cell. That's why the camera's kind of weird. It, it yeah, because it's like trying forth. to play catch up because there's a dude there. Wait. So it's like. Helena Lycastia. Is it Helena, Helena, or Hel Helena? Eh, eh, either or. Lycastia. The briefing is about to begin, Lady Zahra. Take the elevator down and head to the portal room. Sweet couches. <laughs> Even have their logo uh, embroidered onto them. Oh, interesting. I really like the way that they shift her legs when she punches. You know, the whole, like, pivoting your feet? Sorgina de la Borde? Ah, Director General. And this time, ensure that the budget includes proper pre pre mission analysis. I will not tolerate another Berenstain incident. Berenstain incident? I wonder what happened in that incident. I have enough on my plate having to deal with the other directors. Yes, ma'am. I'll let the branch know about the new budget cuts. Anything else? Don't ma'am me, Assistant Director. Inform Commissioner Wiseheart to keep her agents busy. I'm tired of seeing them slacking around doing nothing. Oh, hi, Zara. I heard you just handled another successful case. Hi, Dash. A uh, hi, Director De La Borde. Yeah, there was this Zugothian and... Oomph. I don't have time for this. You have your orders, Sterling. It, yikes! The director could be kind of scary sometimes. Don't let her intimidate you. Good job with the Zagothian! Well, it seems like you're busy. I'm running late to the briefing. Get going! Tra Bre training briefing, area. not briefing. <laughs> no. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Look at that plant, dude! With Eat your greens and you'll end up like this guy. <laughs> Oh boy, even his leaves are swole. <laughs> See, they have the, the veins. I mean, I suppose leaves do have veins. The brief figures in the portal room, opposite the gym. Here in the gym, it's just me and my muscles. <laughs> sprout iron bulk. <laughs> and people are doing bell sprout. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very appropriate emote for what's going on. Oh wow, look at all these characters. Hi, Skip. I'm not too late, right? Just in time. The briefing's about to start, but you shouldn't cut it so close, Zara. I was just wrapping up the Zagothian case. Thanks for your advice during the mission, by the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Don't be so modest. I'm impressed you were able to take down that tentacle guy. He looked tough. Uh, he wasn't so tough. In fact, now I'm feeling bad about having to put him in a cell. He's not really dangerous. Ah, uh, so this is Wiseheart, Valerie, and she was like some kind of merfolk by the looks of it. Ahem. Good morning, everyone. Let's start the weekly briefing. Agent Sinclair and her comm operator, Agent Hollister, just completed an urgent mission involving a misplaced Zagothian. Zagothian had accidentally crossed over a spontaneous portal to another Earth. It certainly caused a shock for the locals. Rest assured that Zagothian is safely locked in com uh, confinement. There were no casualties and the contamination was minimal. Good to hear. Moving on. What news from Sphere? Sam Squatch, of course. <laughs> uh, Sam Squatch, the... the... Doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh. Aren't they called Sasquatches? Yeah, he's a Sasquatch. Uh... Or you're trying to figure out a voice for him. Yeah, because Because you already had a nerdy voice. Yeah, so I have to come up with like a deeper nerdy nerdy voice. The science, physics, engineering, and research team is working on refining methods for tracing the origin of portals using dimension dimensionite residue. In addition to that, Dr. Freya Ganalva is here with updates from the agents placed in Gutopia. Look, Skip. It's Dr. Freya. It's nice to see her back in the HQ. Her metabiology class was my favorite at the academy. Nerd. Our research teams have discovered several new types of exotic substances in the last few months. 
We have also made great progress with the healing goo refining process. However, I have some concerns regarding our policies of conservation of dimensional ecosystems, or lack thereof. That's a matter you can bring up with the board of directors, Dr. Grinalva. There's not much I can do about it. Agent Lovepaws, what's the status of the world-dominating AI situation in Azimovia? Oh, like I Isaac Asimov? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can't risk it to spread to other Earths. Just about finished. Azimovia will be under my control in no time. I mean, free of anyone's control. <laughs> Not under my control. Agent Hollister. We have some updates related to Ripjaw's gang's presumed interdimensional smuggling. We need a proper analysis of the case. On it, ma'am. I'll proceed to, the, uh, to evaluate the risks and potential mission parameters. I bet it's my turn next. Agent Pineapple is absent, as he's working undercover in the Thunderdome. Ah, uh, like Thunderdome? <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max Thunderdome? Following yet another amazing case of dimensional espionage on Torrid. Come on, what's my new assignment? I can't wait! Uh, and that's it for today. What? Before we finish, Sergeant Ironbulk asked me to remind everyone to please attend your regular training sessions. Agents that have not yet completed them will not be assigned new cases until they do so. I... I totally forgot! Zara! I've got to do my training session right now! See you later, Skip! Hi, Sarge! You finally showed up for training, kiddo! It's been a while! I'm sorry. I kept forgetting. You know I love the gym, but I was busy. You gots to be here every day, Sinclair. The body is like a beautiful garden, and a garden needs constant attention and protein. I'm already in tip-top shape, Sarge. I'll throw a mean right hook. Quit flapping your jaws and start moving, Sinclair. Jumping, dodging, fighting, the course is all set up for you. But first, let's see how you handle that protein slinger Dr. Squatch gave you. Did you see the animation? With the lips coming forward and everything. Oh, that I did. That was didn't. hilarious. I. He'll do it again. And make it snappy. Today is chest day. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so you get to go through training. Okay, jump. Act. Okay, so down and drop. Hold forward to grab ledges. Oh, okay. There you go. I, I'm curious if there's ledge grabbing, though, because I seem to move straight for it. Uh, straight through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't really... Oh, there. Oh. She was starting to do a grab animation. Oh, yeah, there it was. So it only works on ledges as opposed to floating platforms. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Because then she has something to grip to with her knees and feet. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a move. Okay, there's there's our roll. Wow, that is a <laughs> not very exciting roll. There's also that? I'm not really sure. All right. Got to the next stage. So how do you like all the characters so far? I wonder how this... This game isn't supposed to be terribly long, so okay. Anchors within Zara's protein slinger range. Oh, proton, not protein. Pro you were just. I just. I assumed it was protein. You're, like you're I assumed it was a drink Sarge or something it. because it was. It's giant small McBeef man talking to us about stuff in chest day. I just read it as protein. Mm -hmm. Okay, when anchors within the slinger range, it'll illuminate and indicate the direction it'll take you. Holding down aim throw and aiming with the mouse or direction keys will allow you to highlight an anchor. Once highlighted, releasing aim and throw fires at the proton slinger, launching her in a given direction. So which way do you want to go? Up? Okay. 
so I get to kind of aim them. Yeah, it, it gives you a way to propel yourself opposite where the fields are. It's a neat nodes. system. It's like a That's grappling fun. hook. Yeah. Uh, Do you have to throw that ball into oh, all of I them? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Peggle. Sort of. My aim is off. Fortunately, it's it's not a challenge where you have to get all of them in one throw. No. That would be ridiculous. I mean, it actually isn't that ridiculous. It's yeah, just my it angling is bad. Might have been easier with uh, keyboard and mouse, but whatever. <laughs> Punching dummies. Ah, and you can use their head as a weapon. Yep. The energy meter. The energy meter is a set of five bars under Zara's health. It fills when Zara collects energy from defeating enemies or successfully dodging attacks and obstacles. It can be used in three different ways. Hold, heal to heal yourself. Healing costs one bar of energy meter, so you can heal multiple times in a row by holding the button down longer. Watch out though, as you are totally vulnerable while healing. Press burst. Burst to unleash a powerful area of effect attack that hurls and knocks back enemies in a range. Uh, this perfect attack for getting out the tight spot. The perfect attack Sorry, for getting Lula. out of tight spots. I, I thought I misread one of the previous sentences. Just looking you back did. at it. Ugh. The perfect attack for getting out of a tight spot when swarmed by enemies. Yeah, you had said hurl instead of hurt. That's why you got tripped up. Yeah, and I was I was trying to read ahead while simultaneously looking back to see if I had messed it up, but yep. Fireball. Press fireball to fire Zara's most devastating attack. The fireball. It deals enough damage to defeat and stun most enemies, and it is especially effective against large enemies. Be careful, though. You must aim your shot carefully. Uh. Looks like you only have heal currently. Yep. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I don't have any, like, particularly strong... Like, down attack situations. Wanna give me some more? I wanna actually try some of these. Well, you do have all access to all abilities now. Okay, so that's the fireball. I don't know which one's the heal. Uh... No, that ain't it. Uh... Is there... Is there a... Controls? I can probably turn this up. She's oh, not actually. Oh, controls are on the left. Yeah. There you okay, go. Okay, gamepad. Attack interact. Uh, gamepad. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> well, that's. I Wait. guess we'll just learn it by doing it live. Old healed. Okay. Okay. So Dude. it's it's. Hollow Knight ish. It's easy enough. Give me more energy. I wish to learn how to burst. So what was the control then? Uh, it's B. So that's that's the AOE. Okay, so right bumper is fireball, left bumper is burst, hold B to heal, X to light attack, Y to heavy attack, A to jump, right trigger to go into aim mode, and dodge is uh, left trigger. Okay, dodging. Dodging is one of Zaru's most useful abilities. She can dodge obstacles like bullets and lasers as well as enemy attacks. Press dodge to dodge. Successful dodging adds energy to your energy meter. Huh, so that's good. Be... Just dodge straight through them. Whoa! Did that one actually succeed no, in damaging you? No, it you didn't. got the last moment. I... Uh, this is, I wouldn't exactly say I'm good at this sort of thing, but it's like... Now, are they at a crossroads betwixt realities? Because there just seems to be, instead of stars, it's a swirling mass of... It's like a dimensional rift land? Yeah. 
I was expecting a little bit more oomph on the, the sling move. Ah, oh, there's Sprout Iron Bulk. Not too shabby, Sinclair. You know your way around the Proton Slinger. It's great for moving around once you get the hang of it. Well, you're ready for duty. If you forget anything, be sure to check your training manual on your datacom. Yes, sir. I believe Commissioner Wiseheart wanted to see you in the office. Make sure you go see her. Don't keep her waiting. What else does he have? Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. Grow. I've uh, heard of Teen Wolf. What is it? Is it a... It's a show and or movie? Yeah, because... I don't know. Looking around online, I find places where my artworks travel, and for some reason it was on a... Like a teen. amino or something huh. for Teen Wolf. And I'm like, what's Teen Wolf? Upgrades. This is a checkpoint terminal. In addition to offering you a checkpoint in the level if you die, you can access these terminals to equip various upgrades that increase Zara's abilities. However, to access that functionality, you must reach level one by collecting enough of Gradium and completing a level of Gradium. Do you want me to read some of these? Yeah, sure, okay. you can. Throughout your travels across multiple dimensions, you'll find glowing shards of Upgradium. There's a certain amount of Upgradium in every level. At the end of every level, all the Upgradium you've collected is tallied up and converted into experience the levels of Zara. Keep in mind, though, that if you do not reach the end of the level, you don't get to keep the Upgradium and level up. Every time you level up, you'll unlock either a permanent upgrade, or an equipment upgrade, uh, equipable upgrade, or both. Permanent upgrades are new abilities that Zara unlocks and can be used anytime, anywhere. These include new attacks, and increase health. Equipable upgrades vary in function and type, and are only active if Zara equips them by visiting a checkpoint terminal. You can up equip up to three equipable upgrades at a time. These range from generating a shield to increasing movement speed. If you're in a difficult spot, snoop around for some upgradium. Complete a level to level up and visit a checkpoint terminal to equip them. Yeah, I am gonna have to be completionist about this, aren't I? <laughs> Why is there a poncho? Oh. That it is. Hey, look, what are those action figures? It looks like Ultraman in the middle. Yeah, a kaiju and some... I don't know who's on the left. Semi... I, hopefully it shows up in the art gallery. Hello, Commissioner Wiseheart. Director Sterling, did you want to see me? Zara, take a seat, please. Is something wrong, Commissioner? Quite on the contrary. Your training and mission performance reports have been outstanding. You're one of the most promising agents, Zara. That's right, Agent Hollister, and you make a good team, a great team with an excellent mission success rate. We have high hopes for you. Thanks, Director Sterling. That means a lot coming from a decorated agent like you. Oh, pay him no compliments, Sinclair. He gets enough praise already. Now for the reason we called you here, Agent Seclair. We think you should get a per- What's that noise? Oh! The intruder alarm. Someone has infiltrated the station. The door won't budge. We're trapped at the office. They must have hijacked the security systems and locked all the doors. Zara, there's a utility tunnel over there in the floor panel. Under the floor panel. Take it and get to the portal room ASAP. We'd come with you, but I am positively huge in comparison. And she can't walk. Never mind, I could fit through that. <laughs> <laughs> so, the utility tunnel should lead me to the portal room, right? Yes, but be careful down there, Zara. I bet that whoever hijacked the system has activated the security lasers. If it's the only way to get there, I'll find a way to avoid them. There's definitely enough room for big man Mick, uh... Agent Man. I don't know. Direct Director Sterling. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be a tiny little... Yeah. Uh, like, I, I thought the reason they were sending her was because, you know, she's small and can escape. Oop. Oh. Well, that is, like, the most Mega Man-y animation. It doesn't seem like you have lives. No. How deep do these tunnels go? Ah. No. Oh. What? This is one of those things that just requires patience. 
Yep. Something I have short supply of right now. <laughs> I gotta go fast. Oh. I gotta <laughs> go fast. <laughs> oh no! You, you didn't. Press I gotta go hella up. fast. I. Whenever I see grappling in games like these, I'm always like trying to figure out how to chain dodge, uh, like chain them together and go fast. What's hello. What's that? These shiny rocks look like the dimensionite residue a portal leaves behind. Who would open a portal here? Dimensionite. Oh. I should probably sit up for this. Eh. Uh, yep. Oh, you had the you had the the ledge, but you still made it. Yeah. We. I, oh, oh, you yeah. have to grapple and somehow dodge through that laser? I mean, it's not actually that hard. I'm just trying to do it while I dodge. Oh, Did you hear that? Someone's down here. Unlocks a level one. Oh, no. I want to get swollen. some kind of lizard kobold? Look, a rift agent. Get her before she reaches the boss. Uh, oh, they look like little T-Rexes. They're kind of adorable. Ah. They even make a whoop noises. Wow, they're super susceptible to heavy attacks. They're super de <laughs> they're super killable. Okay, well where's this boss they refer to? Who are those dinosaurs? They dropped this wrench. Hmm. I haven't seen this symbol before. Displaced wrench. That symbol actually looks an awful lot like their face the, no 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 the ruby the goron's ruby oh yeah so she was saying that the laser room should be right above me ah this is so sticky some kind of goo what's it doing here viscous substance oh yeah we've got like oh <gasps> oh man it's the mask guy from the loading screen you stop right there hmm sinclair how do you know my name? Who are you? It doesn't matter. All of Rift will fall. Are you sure? Do you think he should have a deep voice? Or, or should I give him my... Voice? You know, I could... All of Rift shall fall. Yeah, let's give him that voice. It's just because he yeah. has the Harlequin's No, he's got the big smile. Grin. Okay, fine, yeah, fine. Yeah, that works. I, I just kind of wanted to separate it out from Nefarious, but I guess I can't escape it. What? Not on my watch. You're too late, Sinclair. I've already got what I needed. There are more agents on their way. We won't let you escape. I'll be long gone before they arrive, but let me give you some advice, Sinclair. Leave Rift, crawl back to the Earth you call home, and let us adults redefine the multiverse. And that was the last thing I remember. Based on the bump on my head, I... Yes, they knocked me unconscious. Well, at least you managed to see the intruder. All the cameras had been turned off, so we have no visual on them. The person with the mask mentioned something about having what they needed. Did they steal something? Yes, they took a metacatalyst from the lab storage area. Though, we're not sure how. Metacatalysts are highly volatile, and only exist at high temperatures. They need some special equipment to make take one. What exactly is a metacatalyst? Can you give me more information? Why do you think they took it? It's a dangerous energy source that can be weaponized. I recommend getting more information from Dr. Squatch. There's something of great concern. Security and the camera controls are locked by several passwords. Only a handful of Rift employees would have accessed that information. If only some of us have the password and access to the cameras, then how did the intruders get the Metacatalyst? Don't you see? It's someone! One of the agents! Yeah, it was somebody. It was Dr. Starling- or Director Starling! Only uh, one man is tall enough for that. I'd like to get a better look at the the dude 
far yeah. compared to He everyone just seemed else. pretty tall and pretty broad. Though he could have also been floating on something. True. Or who knows okay. what. Okay. I mean, it could be our like little you, nerd. Hollister, your friend. Yeah. Just that, like. That would be weird. <laughs> I've been Dr. Squatch just like standing on each other. He just like totter off. <laughs> Either our intruder is one of us, or they got help from inside. I would bet on the former, as they saw fit to hide behind a mask. A traitor! It makes sense. They knew my name. I am preparing a case file. The code name of for their leader, the masked intruder, is Suspect X. I like it. Where do I start? I'm going to check the files. See which rift personnel have been in the sector of the station during the day. You said you found some odd clues, right? Talk to Dr. Squatch, Dr. Grinalda, and Agent Hollister. See if they can help you figure them out. Come back to me after you've spoken to the other agents about the items you found. Investigation. Throughout your travels, you will come across special objects that are essential to your investigation. Once collected, Zavra adds them to her clues menu inside the case log. Well, that's interesting. So you also have like, can you wait? So we're gonna go talk to random people and be like, "What about this goo?" Oh, you and can they're talk, going to, show item. Yeah, show yeah, show the item. All to right, the so we're person. gonna be walking around showing everybody our pogs until we get a satisfactory result. <laughs> Once you show the correct clue to the correct person, it gets placed inside the appropriate case file. Once you identify and place two to three correct clues in your case file, you may submit it. So it's probably best to get all of them as opposed to just some. Yeah. To submit a case file, talk to Commissioner Wiseheart. If the case file is sufficient, has sufficient evidence, you may be able to locate and interrogate the suspect of the case. You know what this reminds me of? Hmm? It actually reminds me of the Nancy Drew games. Kind of. It's a neat way of handling things. Once you've figured out the significance of each of those clues, I can help you put the pieces together.